I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. With my boy Alfred, I'm Mr. Talaferro.com. Mr. Right now, I'm about to go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see you with your logo on your mics. From you rock with Mr. Talaferro.com. Y'all go to Mr. Talaferro.com, it's going down. My biggest gift is my voice. It allows me to speak to the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. What's going on? Yours truly, Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV here. Thank y'all for the love. Closing in on 15,000 subscribers. You know we're going for 25,000 by October 31st. Please help me get to my goal. All right, so I'm sitting here watching Sunday Night Football. Great game, by the way, between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. And I'm watching one of my favorite players. Now, now I have a lot of respect for this guy anyway. But I met the guy, and he brought up a story that I would love to share with you guys. All right, Adrian Peterson. I'm watching him, and in the midst of the game on a five-yard run, he he goes down. And the first thing I'm thinking, man, he's grabbing that leg, that knee. Most of us sports fans know Adrian Peterson had tore his ACL a couple years back, had worked so hard to get back, and he literally – was one of the only players in recent memory I can know that actually came back stronger after tearing his ACL than he did before the injury. I mean, the guy's just a workaholic. I met him in, the, like, the last calendar year, right? I met him in um, Knoxville, Tennessee here. He came out for the Bobby May Celebrity Game, and, and me and him shared a moment, man, and it was really special, really special to the kid. Anyways, I'm watching him go down with this injury, and the first thing I'm thinking, man, it, not now. You finally, every time things look like they're going on the up and ups for Adrian Peterson, he finally has a team around him that he can actually win games with and compete for a championship with something happens. You remember last year in the playoffs, his his kicker mixed a, missed a chip shot that would have got him to the second round. I wanted to see him get to the second round of the playoffs so bad. All right, He has, court, he has had quarterback injuries throughout his career. He couldn't find a good quarterback. Finally made a found some in Sam Bradford. Finally made us found some. Sam Bradford looks like he fit well in that system, fits well in that Minnesota system, and Adrian Peterson goes down with what it looks like is a torn meniscus. Now, there is some bright spots to this. They're saying that this meniscus can be, like, treated with just rest. And if Adrian Peterson is comfortable playing with it, depending on the tear, he can play with this meniscus tear. So, thank God it's not an ACL tear. Um, but this story I want to share, I want to get to you. Again, we're in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is about a year ago. I see Adrian Peterson, and he's taking pictures with fan after fan after fan. He's playing in the celebrity game. Adrian Peterson can't play basketball. By the way, he looks like a freak. Even on the basketball court, the guy's so athletically gifted. He's on the court. He's playing basketball. He's taking pictures. He knows he's the center of attention. He's the only big-name celebrity there, pretty much. He's taking pictures left and right. And, and, and towards the end, you got kids coming up to him, even when he's supposed to be out of there, already gone, leaving the, the game. He's still taking pictures. And I ask him, this is real talk, me and him right now, after after he does a great interview with me, by the way, I ask him, I'm like, why are you why are you doing this? Why are you taking so many pictures? What, what, what Why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? Why, why are you giving so much of your time? He was like, you know what? This is his exact words. I'm probably never going to see most of these people again. If I can make a smile on the face, I'll do it. That's what he told me. And that resonated with me because you see some of these celebrities out, they act like complete buttholes. Or some of these wannabe celebrities, they act like complete buttholes. They don't take pictures with fans. I would say the guy's name who I'm thinking about. But he, he didn't take pictures with fans. He did not. Fans of pictures. One time I was around a guy. Um, I'm not going to even say his name, but he's a, he just got into the Hall of Fame. But I ain't going to say his name. But anyways, with that being said, Adrian Peterson was the exact opposite of that. He was the utmost professional. And he took every picture of every kid, anybody who wanted a picture in that arena. And I just got to commend him on that, man. That story's going to resonate with me forever. You don't know how you can make this person stay. I guess that's what I'm getting with, with this. My story times are always going to have some kind of some kind of end statement. It's always going to have a message in it. All right, You just don't know what you can do to make a person's day. You don't know what motivation some of those kids got by seeing the best, one of the best running backs of all time in Adrian Peterson and being able to talk to him, chat with him, shake his hand, get autographs, get a picture. It means so much to me to see a guy that at the top of his profession, and Adrian Peterson is at the top of his profession, 
still be so humble and give back because there are so many people who are not even in halfway the position of an Adrian Peterson lose themselves and, and forget the focus and forget the goal. And it was very, very uplifting. And it was just great to see somebody like Adrian Peterson still understand the essence of giving back to the community. I go by the name of Alfred Taylor Farrell, Mr. Taylor Farrell TV. It was story time with Mr. Taylor Farrell. We're going to do this from time to time. Tell you some great stories, man. Tell you great stories of memories that I've had with, with maybe a celebrity or maybe not. Just somebody in everyday life. I'm going to be telling you these stories. I go by the name of Alfred Taylor Farrell. You're currently tuning in to Mr. Taylor Farrell TV. Subscribe to my channel. We're going for 25,000 subscribers. Thank y'all for the love. Salute. I'm out. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Telefero? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got to out this video so first things first a subscribe will go a long ways next if you really rock with me donate a dollar to my gofundme i have a gofundme link in the description if you really want to support me just a dollar showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way if you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels i got a lot of things coming up but i got to get them travel fees there i got to find a way to get there so that can help me financially if you really want to go there also a word of encouragement thank you whatever it is talk to me in my comment box below comment on this video like subscribe do whatever you got to do this video i gotta thank you for your time i don't take it for granted my name is mr teller farrell now if you subscribe help donate do whatever you can see more videos like this more new exclusive content i got a lot on the way trust me thank you it's mr teller farrell.com